Our focus today is peace and long suffering. These are the next two attributes of the fruit of the spirit that we're talking about throughout this week. Uh, in order to get us started, I'd like to read with you two passages of scripture. First is John chapter 14, verse 27. It says, this is Jesus speaking, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So Jesus is presenting his peace differently from what the world considers to be peace. And he gives it as a, an antidote against fear. Now, as far as long suffering, which is patience, the Apostle Paul says to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 16, he says, however, for this reason, I obtain mercy that in me first, Jesus Christ might show all long suffering as a pattern to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life. So uh, Paul presents long suffering or patience as uh, um, something that is necessary uh, as a pattern, he says, for those who are going to believe on him. In other words, in order for us to believe in Jesus, we ought to experience patience and long suffering. Patience and long suffering are also a product of facing the challenges and the trials of life. Uh, and once uh, overcoming them, the product of those, after the battles are won, what is left over is patience, it's long suffering. It's the ability to, uh, to endure difficult seasons without not only complaining, but without allowing your anger to, uh, to arise within you and seeking revenge. Uh, um, so peace and long suffering, I believe those two things are very closely uh, uh, related uh, because the peace of God is very different from how the world sees peace and therefore it has to be a fruit of the spirit or an aspect of the fruit of the spirit, an attribute because the world cannot produce the peace that God gives and that peace is only produced by the spirit in us when our nature has been transformed. And the only way for us to be patient is for us to experience the peace of God. Once we experience the peace of God, then we can, we can be patient, we can have long suffering because uh, that means that we will endure whatever is necessary without losing the equilibrium, the balance, the confidence, the assurance that God remains in control. But that only happens when our hearts are full of the peace of God. That's why we need those two things and they work hand in hand, they're correlated, they're together because when our hearts are full of peace, then we were able to withstand the trials of life patiently, waiting for the plans of God to mature. And that's why uh, uh, patience is so important. It's because when you take a snapshot of every any given moment of a disciple of Christ, you can maybe get disoriented. You can uh, reach the wrong conclusions because uh, uh, the Bible says that all things work together for the good of them who, who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. All things means that everything it works intricately, intricately. It's like a recipe. If you, if you have raw eggs by itself, that's not going to be too pleasant, too good. But if you mix it with a little bit of flour and a little bit of salt and a pinch of sugar and you, you mix it with other things, you can bake a cake and all things work together in that recipe. Just all the same, all things in your life work together. It's a recipe that God is putting together. So we need long suffering. We need patience to allow it all to come to fruition. That only happens when our hearts are full of peace. So we need the love that we spoke yesterday of. We definitely need the love. We need the joy. And when our hearts are full of love and joy, we experience peace. And once we have that, long suffering or patience is just the natural next step. God bless you in Jesus name. Let's pray together. Father, I pray for uh, uh, that the love of God, the joy of the, of the spirit. I pray that the, the, the patience, the long suffering may abide, abound in our hearts, God. In Jesus' name, Father. And most importantly, God, I pray, I pray that, that your spirit may work within us, your powerful and beautiful mercy. 
giving us the, uh, uh, the understanding that you are working in our nature, in who we are. I pray in Jesus' name that we may experience the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. Peace and patience in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching this video. We're so glad that you did. Uh, if you want to gather more information about the fast, you can find it on our website, www.revivecommunity.church. We also ask that you share this video with your friends and family, and they're going to be powerfully blessed by it. If you want to be updated uh, on our ministry activities uh, and events, you can follow us on our social media. And if you were blessed by this video, send us an email, amen at revivecommunity.church. We would love to hear your story. God bless you in Jesus' name.